the Think strawberry. The strawberry. Mm. Oh yeah. god, so blood good. orange tastes like medicine. It does it taste does. like medicine. Uh, Ugh. Yeah, I'm, I'm done with it. it strawberry is delicious. No, strawberry you. rules. One and done on that sip. We're gonna get into some food news here, and also uh, while we're doing that, we do have a couple of uh, Woody Show taste drive. Please something opportunities here. We have some of the. Ezekiel bread that uh, Sammy mm-hmm. swears mm-hmm. by. Yep, yep. It's the sprouted bread. Mm. And when you buy it, it's refrigerated already, right? No. It's not? I thought that was the bread that was in the uh, mm. refrigerated section. Nope. It's uh, Dave's killer. has got some frozen stuff, right? Yeah. I'm going to think of something else. No. Yeah, because I, I, I've seen I've seen that section. I thought because it was sprouted bread, too. This smells like a cardboard box. It does not. Yeah, it does not smell good. Mm-mm. Somebody texted over. They had a they had a good point. Yeah, says so uh, because just feeling it in the bag, Ezekiel bread tastes like cardboard, oh. and when you toast it, it smells like burning paper. <laughs> what I I always toast it. And who, why is this your go-to? Yeah, who introduced you to this? My mom. Is and, it like and for what? And then what was the what was the sales pitch on it? Like here, it's try this cardboard bread. Like, healthy bread. Right. So I I was always kind of against healthier foods, but my mom's always loved it and she'll swear things taste the same when they don't. But okay. she was like, Yeah, it goes bad really fast, but just keep it in the freezer and it's really good. And so uh and she oh, wow. said that she liked it. So I got it and how I eat it is I just toast it and then I put like peanut butter on it. So okay. it's I I'm, I don't eat it plain. Thank it's God my mother has never lied to me oh, yeah, <laughs> to right. that degree. Yeah, it just that would be yeah. heartbreaking. It's, it does have a weird texture. It's gross. It's thick and moist. Yeah, yeah. The first bite, you're like, oh, it's all right, and then you're it smells. It doughy. just starts Ugh. getting more and more crap. Paper like would be accurate. It's hippie crap. It's the, gross. The Dr Pepper aftertaste no, has been <laughs> replaced by the taste. Really? of this Really? You think it's that bad? It's, it's got. It's really got bad. bad. This reminds me very it's much. So dry of my childhood. Mm. Oh, it so really dry. is dry. So really? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh god. It's very crumbly. So dry. I just crumbly. rounded it up into a ball and threw it in the trash. <laughs> like <laughs> cardboard is the right description. Yeah. 100%. Yeah. That texture. That is yeah. terrible. I guess I'm just used to it now because yeah. I do like it. I I eat it every day. And Sammy just, lies to, right to our face. You've grown to love it. I wouldn't uh. know that it's I would say it's just so bland. Yeah. But that's what I look for it's in bland. food. Being used to it. Yeah. Not liking it. I mean, just, I just kept uh, eating yeah. it and eating it. No, it's something I'm you used give to, to like it. prisoners. I understand what yeah. she's saying. I understand what she's saying because uh, yeah. I never had a problem with Diet Coke before. Yeah. And then they start doing all the zero sugar stuff. So Coke zero sugar is so much better than Diet Coke because yeah. it tastes like regular Coke that I was at a place that only had Diet Coke. And mm-hmm. I got that and I'm like, ugh. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I lost my taste for what I had gotten used to, and right. I thought it was perfectly fine. Interesting. No. If you had good bread, yeah, <laughs> like pretty much anything else, you'd be like, Ooh. any other bread. And then yeah. you, like if there was an A to B comparison right now in front of you, right, and you, and you got just you would taste, hate this, yeah, you, you would, would realize you would, how you would, gross you would it realize is. like what our experience is right now. Yeah, taste. probably, but my because. The point that I was trying to do was to change my taste buds so that when I try something that's crazy sweet that normally would have been nothing to me, I go, oh, I don't want this because it's too sweet for my taste buds now. And people will say that's actually the way, that's the healthy way to be because mm. normal bread, white bread, Menace's favorite, has added sugar. Well, sure. This right. clearly does not. I don't do white bread either. I want to do milk <laughs> bread. Milk bread. All right. I still need to pick some up. How about some food news? Food. Yeah. Food news. Get in my mouth, food news. And we're also going to try the uh, the the charged lemonade that's killing Please. people. Please call it the death drink. The death drink from Panera that they're discontinuing. In. Right, it's, it's it's only available for like another week or so. I want to try it. Uh, in some Woody Show food news, we'll start with this. Ooh, food news. Wendy's has a new Nugs party pack. Uh, yes, which is fifty <laughs> chicken nuggets for fifteen dollars. What? Whoa. Okay, nice. that's a deal. Yeah. Now, they're only what? available in certain markets right now, but they're slowly, mm-hmm. uh, according awesome. to what I'm reading, they, they are rolling them out. Oh, and, nice. and when they say yeah. certain markets, they don't mean like one or two. It's a pretty decent okay. amount. All right. Could so, you eat 50 nuggets in a city? <laughs> no. Oh, boy. I think you could. Oh, he's but, learned his yeah. lesson. But 50 nuggets yeah. for 15 bucks, that's that's a really great deal. Mm. Yeah. Come on, Menace. Uh, how about this one, Menace? Ooh, yeah. food news. Oscar Meyer. Yeah. They have a new line of stuffed hot dogs. <laughs> okay. Uh, Oscar so, Meyer is my favorite hot dog. Instead of, you know, just meat or, you know, whatever's inside hot mm-hmm. dogs, you can get ones that are packed with cheese, oh, yeah. chili cheese, or jalapeno cheddar. Chili oh, cheese. <laughs> They've been doing the cheese ones. Well, uh, is Oscar Meyer better? Other places. I know other brands have. Yeah. So a, are these hot dogs like a lot 
like bigger girth wise? I haven't seen them. I just read about it. Uh, yeah, men, you can buy cheese yeah. stuffed hot dogs already. Yeah. Yeah. They're not oh, girthier. Yeah. They've because been around since I would, the injection. I would think, you know, then no, they definitely seem plumpier. Mm. Like it, all that stuffing would cook out. You know what I mean? Oh, Here's yeah. the thing: uh, an eight pack will cost around five bucks. Oh yeah, man! So you get it. You get Available in stores nationwide. Oscar Mayer stuffed hot dogs. Love Oscar Mayer. I definitely look. <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, Greg, I thought about you. I bought this the other day. Huh? First time in years, I bought some kielbasa. Okay. Oh. And that yeah. ma- made you think of me? Yeah, because you know Russians, Polacks, oh, you true. know whatever. <laughs> yeah, you know, they're, they're big into the kielbasa. <laughs> the kielbasa. Yeah. Ooh, that is food true. news. Yeah, so good. Mm. Mm. Yeah, really good. Hadn't had that in so long. It was like a staple of my childhood it? because... Uh, Did you grill it? I boiled it like my mom used to do. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Cabbage? Yeah. Yeah, you could do that. It was always like uh, kibasa and uh, pierogies. Right. Okay. Oh, yeah. So back to these stuffed hot dogs. Yeah. Okay, yeah. This is like a high thought, random yeah. thought that I've had my whole life. They have this new product, right? Oscar Mayer stuffed hot dogs. So they introduce them to the grocery stores. Every time there's a new product, the grocery stores have to kind of rejig their entire shelving system right oh, babe. like they, yeah like they do they have to. to get rid of some products to make room for new products or do they have to move them somewhere else but well the whole place is packed with stuff anyway don't they have deals mm-hmm. already with the manufacturers so like oscar meyer they purchase a certain amount of shelf space or you know whatever space given. freezer space yeah yeah um and so they have a certain uh, an allotment. They can decide to use those spaces however they would like. Oh, so they can just move. Yeah, these here. So they might have this to, one in there. Yeah, or they might have to like selling. you know stop yeah. putting one product out there. Like maybe that's why that product disappears for a minute while they test out this new stuffed hot dog thing. Wow, okay. such a complicated thing that I, yeah, because they pay for even like to be at a certain level there. Wow. in a certain position right. in the aisle, like not on the end, not on the very top, not on the very bottom. And then they have to kind of redo the whole thing to make room for one new product. Yeah, like that's the stuff I'm interested in. I want to know how so much the grocery stores make from that kind of stuff. Mm. Forget the sale of the item. Right. Well, not, how every, much do they- not everybody's buying shelf space. They're given shelf space. But I'm sure like charge for premium. But that's what I'm saying. Like how much they like how airlines make on baggage fees. Yeah. I'm sure like an end cap probably costs money. Oh, end caps definitely cost money. But. I don't even look at those anymore. Yeah, but the grocery stores, they pay big money to the manufacturers. Or the, 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 the manufacturers pay big money to the grocery stores. For where it's placed. For placement. So interesting. Yeah. Some other food news. Ooh, food news. Burger King, they're adding mozzarella fries nationwide. They okay. were hitting some <laughs> test markets. <laughs> nice. Mozzarella fries. So they're, they're fry-shaped mozzarella yeah, sticks. Like the, so they're like thinner. thinner like the chicken ones. That mozzarella they sticks. The chicken yeah. ones that are terrible. And they yeah, come they with suck. a marinara dipping sauce. Mm. Uh, and it sounds like it's not a limited time thing. It's like a new permanent menu item. All right. Burger King mm-hmm. trying to come up. They're spending mm-hmm. all that money on all the remodels, too. Yep. Uh, new flavor of Rice Krispie Treat to tell Ooh, you about. food news. Chocolatey peanut butter. All right. Okay. That sounds pretty good. Yes. Okay. I'm down with that. Also, in uh, in drink news, Ooh, food news. Welch's, the grape juice people, they're getting into the canned cocktail business. Oh, here we go. Oh, because that <laughs> space needs yeah. to be bigger. Five right. years too late. The four <laughs> flavors they're starting with, you'll have the Welch's Vodka Transfusion. Okay. The Vodka Cranberry, the Watermelon Mule. That sounds pretty good. Okay. Refreshing. Yeah. And the Passion Fruit Mojito. Ooh. I mean, I'm willing to drink all of them. Yeah, same. Sure. Yeah. Take you a year just to try all of them. But I mean, such a crowded space already. Yeah. Imagine rearranging those shelves. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah damn, Greg. Greg. <laughs> yeah. I hear you. Ooh, food news. Now, the 16th, that's uh, Thursday, is Jack's birthday. Jack in the box, Jack. Mm. And so now they're doing uh, specials. Thursday, you can get a free Jumbo Jack. Friday, free fries. Saturday, free drink. Sunday, free regular size shake. Right. Sweet. Just a FYI. What's the catch? Do you uh, have to? Can you just show up and get it? Current members of Jack Pack Rewards members Jack or Pack. Rewards Club. The Jack Pack. Along with, <laughs> along with new signups. So, uh, yeah, so app stuff. Yeah, whatever. Dude, you got a Subway app. I do, but I it know. got compromised. And now I can't eat it. Right. Damn it. Wait, your subway app got hacked? Yes. Everything we, gets uh, hacked. We discussed. Yeah. 
And then mm. about some other food news here. One last piece. Ooh, food news. Burger King, they're jumping on the Philly cheesesteak bandwagon. They okay. got two new items. The Philly Royal Crispy Wrap and the Philly Melt. Oh, yeah. But they're not true Philly <laughs> cheesesteak. Uh, you know, it's like this. Um, it's like, uh, like okay, like here, uh-huh. the, the, the Philly Royal Crispy Wrap. Okay. All right, so this joins the other ones. They got the classic spicy honey mustard, blah, 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 blah. Mm-hmm. So uh, all the wraps, they feature the fried white meat chicken wrapped in the soft flour tortilla. Oh, yeah. With glazes, sauces, and all the other stuff. The new Philly one contains chicken, Swiss cheese, fire-grilled peppers, onions, and BK's royal sauce. Oh, yeah. So they're just replacing, you know, uh, the thin-sliced ribeye steak with fried chicken. Mm. Their Philly melt Uh is a take on the Whopper melts, right? And uh, the Philly one is uh, two quarter pound Whopper Junior beef patties, like the other, <laughs> yes. like the other melts, Jesus and then Christ. peppers, Rip. onions, melted cheese, and royal sauce. Is Burger King's menu huge? And I just don't know that Burger King's got a pretty good menu. They had that Junior Whopper deal, like uh, the two for five bucks. Yeah, that's oh. pretty. And I, I told you that was a pretty decent yeah. amount of food. It was really good. Don't sleep on the King, dude. They're coming back. Yeah, they're on their way back. <laughs> oh, it's a I hear yep. their jingles all the time. Yeah. Well, there's some uh, Woody Show food news. We are going to taste drive the charged lemonade. Finally. When we come back. This is the one at Panera. All the news headlines have been popping up. Let's see if it stops anybody's heart. Yeah, because didn't we say it was it's like uh, compared to a Red Bull? Red Bull's got like 70 milligrams. This is like well, four of, fifty or something, like uh, yeah. three something. Well, I'll I'll, I'll break it down. Okay, because okay. it's a, right, per, it's a, it's a per ounce thing that could be deceptive. Yeah. Okay. All right. So uh, we'll, we're going to try that charge lemonade. We'll see if it kills any of us. Maybe the Woody Show on the uh, Ezekiel bread that Sammy loves. That's dry AF and gross. Yes. Yeah, it's just so bland. It's not, you can't even say it's gross. It's just not satisfying it's at not all. Good. Yeah. Uh, this one says, "I like Ezekiel bread too, Sammy. I have some in the freezer as we speak." It's uh, good for you because it doesn't have processed oils in it and such. Mm. Right. Cool. Exactly. Yeah, that's why it's so bland. Yeah. Right. And then, yeah. um, that's why it sucks. This one says, uh, hey, Sammy, I work for Food for Life where they make it. I could send coupons for you to try the cinnamon raisin. You would love it. Okay. I do like cinnamon raisin. At least there'd be some taste. Mm. Now, speaking know. of taste, what do you show taste drive? <laughs> uh-huh. And this is the, uh, the charged lemonade from Panera that... Has allegedly been killing everybody. Mm-hmm. Couple people. Couple people. Yeah, one, I mean, one girl had a heart condition, and the other one is actually really sad. It's a, like an adult uh, who was a little slower, oh. and he had like three of them, Ooh. Uh, not yeah. knowing he says or they claim his family says that uh, it has so much caffeine in it. Now, how right. much caffeine is in this charged drink that you got in front of you? There are three how different flavors. Yeah. About or up to three hundred milligrams for a large, maybe a little even more. Now that's equivalent to a bang, like a large, okay. or, or a large Celsius. Yeah. So per ounces, it's actually a little less than so a lot of. So it's really that. not that bad. Right. Oh the God, problem. This being, blood orange flavor is gross. I have a oh, blood this orange. Is delicious. As well. They got a blood orange, a mango, and a strawberry. I think strawberry. I have a strawberry. Mm. Oh yeah. God. So blood good. orange tastes like medicine. It does it taste does. like medicine. Uh, Ugh. Yeah, I'm, I'm done with it. Strawberry is delicious. No, strawberry you. rules. One and done on that it's, sip. It has about as much camp- uh, caffeine as a large coffee. So like a large a grande Starbucks is over 300 milligrams of caffeine. Mm-hmm. But all the lawsuits are saying that uh, Panera didn't put enough warning that this has caffeine. No, I would never think there was caffeine in Oh, this, this. mango yeah. one's way better. Oh, my God. That blood orange? Yeah, blood orange is heinous. Ugh. Mango's pretty good. Here's where the Starbucks, or that Starbucks, the Panera is really going to get you. Those large drinks, yeah, a lot of caffeine, over 300 milligrams. Mm-hmm. Also, 125 grams of sugar. Wow. Ah. Ah. about five candy bars. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> this is why we're fat, people. Wow. Oh, my this God. This is why we're fat. Because we're like, what? I'm just drinking a charged lemonade. Yeah, I would think it's almost healthy. Yeah, it has fruit in it. It's yeah, fruity. yeah, fruit it's and sugar. Wow. No wonder that's so good. Get your heart pumping. <laughs> strawberry. <laughs> so good. Fantastic. Your, your yeah. insulin working. The mango, one, strawberry? the mango one's good. Yeah, the blood orange one, not so good. Doesn't really matter. They could be all great. The, uh, oh, I think the strawberry is the best one. The yeah. Reaper's coming. It's gone yeah, within like another th- week or so. You drink three or four of those, you might pa- pass. You'll you're go right. into a diabetic shock. No, you'll right. be in diabetic shock for sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the concern. Yeah. We'll, let you know, we'll let you know if it kills any of us. Okay. Yeah, as we uh, continue to try these. All right, so there's the uh, Woody Show taste drive. There we go with the, oh, uh, another drink news real quick. 7-Eleven, I saw it there. They've got this uh, new Gatorade thirst quencher. It's called Midnight Ice. 
Midnight okay. Ice. Yeah, I saw it. Uh, I saw it sitting there All as right. an exclusive flavor. Neat. Doesn't really say exactly, you know, what it tastes like. Is it blue? They say uh, the packaging with an icy lightning bolt graphic against a midnight backdrop. They don't say what the taste oh, is. Okay. I don't know. Yeah. Right. But, but now, what's that label? Now like? available, oh. the Gatorade Thirst Quencher Midnight Ice. Mm-hmm. All right, more Woody Show coming up.